Hey people, how you doing? I hope you're doing great. Uh, today I'm going to review a book. The author is Jennifer Stepp and I'm talking about the Elemental Assassin series. This one is the 15th book of the series and it's called Unraveled. The, this book follows the events that happen in Bite or Read. That's the one where we discover that Finn's mother, Deidre, is not all good <laughs> like we are very suspected in the book and also you will benefit if you read the in-between book that's the Finn short novel because it provides a lot of information about how he's feeling after the thing with his mother went down and it begins to show how he begins to uh, you know to resuscitate the old him that he lost after his mother's deception. Well, uh, this book, um, if you remember what happened, what happened in Bite and Bite, uh, we found out that there is this uh, entity called the Circle, that they are the ones that really pull off the strings of everyone. So, you know, maybe now Jim Bianco it's like uh, the one. <laughs> on Iceland, but um, she might be just a puppet, you know, because there is this circle that she discovers and the most surprising thing is that her mother was a part of the circle, so, you know, Jean is thinking about it's, uh, whether her mother was good or she was a, what, a bad person, why was she a member of the circle, and a lot of questions that uh, she wants the answer to. But uh, there comes, um, there's this will, and Finn has been given a thematic park as part of an heirloom left to him by his mother. So yeah, it's like, what? <laughs> Wasn't she evil? Why has she left him this kind of Wild West park? Well, the thing is that he is the heir and the park belongs to him now. So he decides that the best thing that they can all do just to take their minds off things is to go to this park to you know to check it out and to spend a weekend off. And uh, as soon as they get there, there are some things that look like kind of weird, you know. And um, there's people who want to kill them. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you know, it's if not, there won't be a book if they were all chilling out. Well, the thing is that Tucker, that vampire, that's member of the circle. Uh, he wants to kill them off, so he, he will try to do it while they are on the park. I'm not going to give a lot of spoilers about this book. Um, I want you to read it and to enjoy it. I have to say that uh, I feel kind of bad because this book didn't do it for me. I usually like uh, Jennifer Stepp's books a lot. Uh, the Finn e novella I love, for instance. But this one it didn't work for me because um, it's like 400 pages and I think in my opinion that it could have been cut by half because there were a lot of descriptions about the park, about the attractions on the park, the people on the park and a lot of talking that was just talking per se and I didn't move the book forward or provided any insightful information at last for me because I've seen that uh, people have loved this book so yeah maybe it was me I don't know but the thing is also that um, the plot for me began to be very predictable and um, I began to see things, how well, some things will work and I wasn't wrong, so yeah, for me it was uh, quite predictable. Um, let's say that Jean is looking for lots of answers about her mother and about, as I said before, was she a good person, was she a bad person, why was she a member of this horrible circle that controls the, the puppets in Iceland and here she will find some answers and um, they, they will <laughs> they will be given along the book in um, kind of dreams, flashbacks things and then we will get extra information when we get at the end of the book I'm not going to say anything about it, I won't want to spoil anything for you but also uh, we will learn more things maybe about um, Finn's mother, why uh, will she have that park, why she use it, uh, what about the workers that work in the park, there is a dwarf that was uh, lovely and I really enjoyed that, that character, well uh, maybe lovely wasn't the word <laughs> that I will use because he was a very angry one but you know I just love that character. And, you know, uh, by the end of the book we will know more about Finn's mother and the part that he's left, that she's left him. We will know more answers about uh, Jean and her mother and the circle. 
and uh, yeah, the, the ending for me was kind of a cliffhanger because I was ready to keep on reading because it was like now, 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 now you got interesting for me. Now I want to know more and was like out. Now I have to wait for the next one. I think that the people who enjoy Jennifer's book, uh, books are going to love this one. Uh, for me, it was just that I was a little throw off by all these um, conversations and rumblings and all the descriptions that throw me off. And also, as I said before, I found the book predictable and uh, yeah, for me it was because, you know, everything that I thought that was going to happen did happen. So maybe it was me because I have seen that this book has a lot of good reviews, so I'm not trying to pull you off, I'm just giving my opinion. And also, uh, here in the little uh, description window thingy, I'm going to leave a little a little fragment of the book so you can read it. And as far as I know, um, this is a walk tour. I should have said it before, probably, <laughs> sorry. But uh, every one of us who are participating in this walk tour are going to give you... Well, I don't know if everyone, but uh, I think so. Every, we are going to be sharing fragments of the book so you can... Uh, get on reading it so you can get an idea of the first pages of the book. So yeah, before I say something else or say some kind of a spoiler thing, I'm going to leave it here and really this book comes out by the end of the month. So if you want to try it out and if you like Jennifer's steps, you're probably going to like it. So thank you for saying.